Assalamu alaikum. This is Inspiring Seyyid Masroor. In today's video, I will navigate Malaysian job market. This video is based on a very comprehensive report which is named as Hiring, Compensation and Benefits Report or Outlook 2024. This is about the Malaysian job market. Malaysia is a wonderful country. Its market is always in evolving shape. Reason, Malaysians are prone to adopt to the change. They bring in new trends, ideas, and they try to reshape the outlook of their country, their companies, their businesses, and HR outlook. Seek has prepared this report. Seek is basically operating the job street in Malaysia. So they have covered 454 companies where small, medium, and large size companies have been included in this survey or in this uh, search process mostly 48 percent are small companies then medium size companies and finally large companies it's it's a good mix of the professionals from different uh, industries manufacturing it business and finance uh, food and beverages telecommunication and so on and so forth so it has covered almost all the industries uh, in the report and the professionals viewpoint have been taken the current employment trends and at the same time compensation and benefits policies and trends have been thoroughly reviewed and then a new outlook has been provided for the study of the HR professionals for the companies so that they could go through this report and they can firm up their views and reshape the job market. Digitalization and remote work is reshaping the workplace. Every company has hired one employee. I will just focus on some important trends in the hiring as well as compensation and benefits so as to provide you an overview how you should reshape your own organization, your own workplace, whether you are operating in Malaysia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, in the in this region. So this is an important video. So you must watch it and try to adopt some trends that you can implement in your own companies as per the culture, as per the needs of your own organization. More part-time employees are being hired nowadays. Reason, one is to reduce the cost of the employees. Second, to cut on the cost for the compensation and benefits. Then uh, focus on the skilled jobs, which can be done within the limited time frame. And finally, the companies, when they are unable to find the right and relevant talent on their permanent positions, so they are going to go for the project-based or short-term assignment so that they can complete their work. They can pay off to the contractors or the contractual employees in one go. And it is how they can complete their work without having involved so much of financial cost. Talking about the hiring trends, I will just focus on the five categories. HR and administration 39%, sales and business development 31%, accounting and finance 29%, marketing 21% and IT 20%. But at the same time, workforce has been reduced in, in some of the areas where HR and admin is 20%, accounting is 19%, IT is 13%, sales 11% and marketing 7%. So these are some of the hiring trends in the Malaysian market and at the same time the workforce have been reduced in some of the uh, categories which I have mentioned in this video. There are top three reasons why the employers they have adopted a methodology where they are hiring the contractual employees. One, they want to expand the business. Two, they are unable to find the skilled employees so they are going to go for the contractual employees. Three, they want to enhance the skill set of the employees. It can involve the upscaling and reskilling as well. Starting our discussion about the compensation and benefits, it is strongly believed that the salary raise or salary increment is tightly interlinked or interwoven with the inflation. 23% of the employers, they claim that their salary increment or their salary raise is linked with the inflation. So performance based bonus is 61%, guaranteed and contractual bonus it is 
uh, both of the above these are 11 percent and none of the above is 21 percent so average increment is 6.9 percent in the Malaysian job market and the staff who have been promoted uh, they are 60 percent and their average increment is around 11.78 percent talking about the leave and general benefits there are different kinds of leave that are being offered in the Malaysian companies it includes compassionate leave study leave maternity and paternity leave graduation leave community service leave uh, menstrual leave birthday leave family care leave uh, marriage leave and so on and so forth so there are a number of uh, leave uh, benefits which are offered to the employees in the Malaysian companies most popular new benefits that are being offered by the employees include paternity leave maternity leave and birthday leave so this is the trend in 2024 talking about the medical related allowances are the benefits there is a growing trend towards the medical insurance medical checkups and mental health coverage so nowadays especially after the covid this trend is on the rise and the Malaysian companies they are offering this benefit uh, to their employees and their families there are a number of benefits which are offered by the Malaysian companies to their employees and I will just uh, list down those uh, benefits it includes social benefits uh, employee provident fund SOXO and EIS then uh, medical insurance mental health uh, coverage medical screening dental uh, coverage life insurance personal loan optical coverage pension fund, uh, discounted stock options, flexible benefits, tax subsidies and stock options. There are benefits relating to the accommodation which are offered to the employees in Malaysian companies, whether these are local companies or the MNCs, whether it is a small or medium or large size companies, but these benefits are offered to the employees. It includes the uh, housing uh, in the form of cash allowance, then housing loans are there, uh, rental reimbursement is there and then mortgage interest subsidy is also given to the employees this is a common trend in Malaysia that every employee they can buy an apartment or a house and uh, the banks are very flexible in giving loans to the employees they just need to be giving them the uh, salary certificates or other documentation so sometime it is uh, without any uh, advance payment or the initial payment which is given to the banks and the employees they can get the loans so very easy and uh, flexible arrangement and the banks they are quite flexible employers they are also supporting the employees so that the employees they are satisfied their families are satisfied and they are working without any anxiety or any stress in the companies there are different uh, types of career development programs which are offered to the employees in the companies it includes the apprenticeship mentorship education sponsorship uh, career mobility within the organization, overseas posting, job rotation, self-paced learning, different kinds of trainings are offered to the employees within the country and outside the country as well. Work-life balance, it is the main focus in the companies. A number of benefits and flexibilities are offered to the employees. I will just list down those uh, benefits which are offered to the employees in Malaysian companies. It includes free snacks, beverages and fruits, then casual wear every day is there, early leave, uh, on festive days it is their organization activities like traveling flexible work hours are offered to the employees flexible working locations are offered to the employees mental health day of our checkup day is given to the employees some of the work-life balance uh, facilities are very different mental health counseling this is given to the employees by the companies at the same time sleeping pods these have been provided and uh, those are available within the companies at the workplace employee assistance program where the consultation is offered to the employees so that they are uh, stress free and they are anxiety free working with the positive mindset at the workplace and it is how they can produce better quality work and they can increase their productivity at the same time uh, mental health or physical health uh, app subscriptions are given to the employees so that they can download those apps and they can seek those services from the, the online platforms there are a number of family friendly benefits and it is how the employers are very much conscious and mindful of the fact that the employees families are important if the families are being taken care of the employees the staff they will be working without any stress and anxiety and they will produce a better quality work at the workplace it is how the benefit goes to the company at large scale 
the organization grows the people grow and they work together for a longer period of time it is how the top talent is being uh, retained and ensured that they are working for many years in the future some of the benefits i will talk about and i will list down in the video so that you can just take an idea what kind of benefits are being offered by the malaysian companies those include uh, work activities and events these are meant for the families at the same time medical protection cover is given nursing rooms are available at the workplace play rooms are also available at the workplace medical checkup for the family is there uh, children care support is there dental allowance is given to the families children education is being sponsored by the companies as well and optical allowance is also given to the families of the staff who are working with different companies other benefits include transport allowance for example within the country and for the overseas travel as well this is given by the companies free parking slots are given to the employees parking is really expensive in malaysia so the companies they arrange parking for their employees vehicles at the same time work phone package is given company vehicle is offered to the top uh, position holders and then internet broadband facility is there uniform and laundry is also given to the employees for certain categories as far as uh, future workplace uh, the covid and the post covid times have dramatically changed the workplace in malaysian companies the employees are really conscious of it if i say that every employee or every person in malaysia is having one or two jobs in their hands i think it will not be wrong to say because malaysian market is still supporting their own people their own staff although there are hundreds and thousands of uh, expert workers at, at different categories they are working in malaysia but at the same time they are taking care of their own employees the workplace is uh, nowadays coming back to fully uh, physical workplace where the employees they have to come every day and they have to work but now they are creating hybrid uh, arrangement and also remote work arrangement of the recommendations which have been given in the report uh, are very important to understand number 1 that you should look at the top talent within your own companies pick those talent upskill uh, their level of uh, competence reskill them it is how you can make them more potential and capable to do work within the organization employee morale is very important so they have to provide a workplace where there is no stress and anxiety and the employees they are working in a stress free work environment at the same time the employee engagement survey employee benefit survey those have been recommended in the report to create a highly productive and inclusive workplace in the future the companies they have to focus on certain areas certain points number 1 they have to use ai based uh, tools so that they could find a better talent they have to proactively find the talent uh, within the country and outside the country at the same time uh, they have to create diversity and inclusiveness within the workplace they have to go for uh, better and increased uh, benefits and packages to be offered to the employees they have to look at the career mobility and career development of the employees some of the trends which the companies need to adopt the companies they have to focus on the employer branding so that they can attract potential talent i will give a link of the report in this uh, video's uh, description you can click the link and uh, read the report it is a uh, 45 pages report i made this video so i could just highlight the main and significant points but to go into further details you can uh, read the report and uh, if anyone is interested to have a podcast with me an online session with me i am available we can talk about these trends because this is something very important malaysian market is adopting different trends from the developed countries from the developed uh, job markets and their trends are really based on the ground reality in different countries across the globe hope you will find this uh, video valuable please uh, provide your feedback and uh, let me know if i could be of further assistance thank you very much have a good day